Hello and welcome to Quick Charge by Electrek, keeping you in the fast track with daily EV and green energy news. I'm Mikey G, and it's Wednesday, February 10th. Tesla range estimates are called into question in a new independent test by Edmonds, showing the Tesla vehicles don't hit their EPA estimates. Tesla is famously a leader in the industry when it comes to range and efficiency based on the EPA numbers. However, the automaker has been known to play with the numbers a little bit in recent years, and some owners have been complaining about not being able to achieve the estimates in real-world conditions. Edmonds tried to compare the EPA ratings of 15 electric vehicles against their own real-world test, and they found that the results were less than stellar. The most concerning was the Tesla Model 3 Performance, which scored 310 miles of range from the EPA. However, Edmonds tested it at 256 miles. While no range test is perfect, even with the EPA, Perhaps this will spark a more honest discussion about range and test methods. Tesla managed to increase its workforce by over 20,000 employees in 2020, a year that was mostly difficult for job creation. In its 10K SEC filing released this week, Tesla confirmed that the headcount had grown to 70,757 full-time employees. That's up from 48,016 reported at the end of 2019. Tesla shows no sign of slowing down also. They are expanding in some markets, opening new stores and service centers, which would contribute to the workforce growth, but manufacturing will be Tesla's biggest area of growth for the headcount. Both Gigafactory Berlin and Texas are going to come online later this year, and when Tesla hires those production associates, we'll see numbers grow by the thousands. Tesla teases a new user interface for energy customers who own home solar products and power walls with a new video. Following the acquisition of SolarCity, Tesla started to integrate features for Powerwall and solar customers to its mobile app, which was originally used just for vehicle owners. Tesla has been gradually updating the app for energy customers with new features. And this includes a new StormWatch feature to auto-detect storms and prepare for them by storing energy. In the new video posted to YouTube about their offerings yesterday, Tesla teased an upcoming update that features a new house animation and menu design. Interestingly, Hacker Green had managed to find the new media assets for the energy user interface update inside a recent Tesla vehicle software update. The new media assets were in the car software and not on the app update, which could mean that Tesla plans to bring its energy monitoring features to their vehicles. Electric pickup truck maker Rivian is said to be looking for an IPO to be publicly traded later this year at $50 billion. Rivian has been raising a lot of private money lately to the tune of billions of dollars from the likes of Ford, Amazon, Cox Automotive, and many more. And now Bloomberg reports that Rivian is eyeing an IPO later this year at a valuation of about $50 billion. With its first deliveries planned for June, perhaps the automaker would wait until having some revenue before going public. Porsche has achieved a new Guinness World Record title by driving its Taycan electric car at over 100 miles per hour inside of a building. Racer Lee Keen beat the record by over 20 kilometers per hour in a Taycan Turbo S inside an exhibition hall in New Orleans. The driver managed to achieve a speed of 102.5 miles per hour on the polished concrete floor. The Taycan is rapidly becoming one of Porsche's best-selling models, And in the U.S., the automaker recently launched a new version of the Taycan for under $80,000. American automakers Rivian and Lucid Motors have both recently revealed locations and expanding their retail presence in the U.S. Both electric vehicle manufacturers have large aspirations to compete with Tesla, although either of them have yet to deliver a consumer an EV so far. Michigan-based Rivian recently announced that its second retail location will be opening up in the Windy City of Chicago. This early move in Chicago makes sense since the company's two upcoming EVs are currently manufactured 130 miles south in the city of Normal, Illinois. In the Lucid Motors camp, they appear to have much bigger plans. Last summer, Lucid announced plans to open 20 retail and service centers in North America in 2021. Lucid prefers not to call them showrooms, and instead they will be a consumer's experience. The California-based manufacturer has since opened its doors in six studios and two service centers. The two most recent are in Miami and West Palm Beach. The docket has 18 more experiences, including five in California, two in Texas, two in New York, and Florida, Colorado, Arizona, and Washington State also being represented. 
Starting on November 13th, Bolt EV owners have been waiting for a battery recall announcement. Chevy has offered a temporary fix in which owners have been urged to go to the dealership and apply for a free update to limit the battery capacity to 90%. Today, General Motors broke their silence via a comment on the Chevy Bolt EV owner's Facebook group, and they made an announcement post. Unfortunately, the post didn't provide any fix for the battery issue, but more or less reiterated their previous directions from months prior. GM said, quote, We're continuing to investigate the root cause, and our intention is to remove the 90% charge limit once the investigation has been completed and defective battery packs have been identified and replaced or repaired. Now, at Electrek, we appreciate GM's strive to be a leader in the electric car space, and we hope that this recall of their first EV can conclude shortly. In a collaborative post with Fully Charged, Robert Llewellyn takes a ride in the Vauxhall Mocha E. Available in Europe, the car has a mild range of 155 miles, and Llewellyn describes the crossover as confidently mature. The car is loaded with extraneous features. This is what this comes with. Multimedia Navi infotainment system, satellite navigation, 7-inch color touchscreen, DAB digital radio, Bluetooth audio streaming, Bluetooth mobile phone portal, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, front USB connection, 6 speakers, 7-inch digital instrument cluster, 16-inch silver alloy wheels, chrome effect upper window molding, driver drowsiness alert, forward collision alert at all speeds, lane positioning assistant, speed sign recognition, automatic emergency city braking, adaptive cruise control, speed limiter, rear assistance, assistance, panoramic rear mirror, adjustment, forward adjustment, heated door mirrors, uh, automatic the control, automatic 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 control, now, despite these features, one thing that stands out, Llewellyn writes, quote, The elephant in the room is the 10,000-pound premium you will pay for the electric version over its gas counterpart. We've talked to industry insiders, and we can no longer see how this level of additional cost can be justified. Electric Scooter Doll takes a look at the longest-range EVs coming in 2021, taking a look at how EV range is calculated, then onto the cars themselves. Topping the list is the newly announced Tesla Model S Plaid Plus, with an estimated EPA range of 520 miles. In a close second is the Lucid Air Dream Edition at 517 miles of range. After this comes the Tesla Model X Long Range Edition, which, after the refresh is enacted, is slated for 360 miles. After that is the upcoming Rivian R1T Launch Edition pickup truck with over 300 miles of range, and last on the list is the Volkswagen ID.4 crossover with 250 miles of range. You can see our full list of cars and range on our site, electrek.co. Arkimoto's market capitalization recently crossed the $1 billion threshold. Less than a year ago, Arkimoto's share price had dipped below $1, and yesterday it closed at $31.12. While the entire market has shown impressive growth since bottoming out early in the COVID-19 pandemic, Arkimoto's share price has grown 1,658% in the last 12 months. The company's flagship Fun Utility Vehicle, or FUV, is a 75 mile per hour electric vehicle with a maximum range of up to 100 miles in the city. Thanks for watching Quick Charge by Electrek. We also have an audio version on your favorite podcast player. I'm Mikey G, and I hope you have a great day.